this is out of war basically a mining game i kind of look the look of it i kind of like the look of it because it's about digging big holes who doesn't love digging big holes Hey, we'll just walk through the tutorial see what it's all about i have played already because uh, apparently the key binds are really really funky so i have gone in tweaked some key binds had a look what's going on and when it comes to loans apparently you want a biggish loan because otherwise you're going to be struggling let's go and this one take our loan here Julio. Job done. Now, let's hire. Okay. I think we'll go for a little old. What are they? Front end loaders. We'll go nice and cheap. One for 211. 236. 209. Go for this one. Seems to be the cheapest. And that's why we took out the million loan. Because obviously, we didn't take out the million. It'd be quite expensive. We have a third person and a first person view. And uh, we see the tutorial. So far, so good. Telling you what it wants you to do. The controls are really weird. So, you, you would expect your left and right kind of bounce back. But it's actually, it's where you set it. So as you turn to your left or your right, you can actually release the key. And it will stay in that position. So that's all well and good. But I guess... Dig some more and fill the bucket. I guess I kind of got this game on a whim, really. My uncle used to be massively a civil engineer, and he well, was a civil engineer, and this kind of thing, and he dealt with all sorts of projects. And he used to deal with these huge, massive machines. I remember as a kid, it was always something that was like really intriguing to me. So to be able to do it in a game, open up my own house without having to get mucky or even getting a qualification, why not? So we're going to yeet up here, bring up our bucket, Oop, down we go, oh, and down we go that side, and then finally load it in. So the game does lag a little bit if you're not on a top quality machine, so I hear anyway, but that's because of its physics. All these little balls, they're all a little physics calculation happening. So the more of those that you produce, obviously the more lag that it is going to be, as you saw. Doing that. As you saw when I dropped, they do kind of morph back into the ground. So you're not constantly going to be stuck with too many ground everywhere. Which is very, very helpful. But basically, this game is all about mining. And apparently, the different colours are different materials, if you like. So we're going to show you that, actually. Just run off into what is known as, well, headquarters, I guess. If we go over to whoop, this table over here, control room, you'll see dirt, a dirt, coal, solid rock, etc., 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 all has its uses. And it's obviously more expensive as you go for it per ton. This is what we're trying to do today. We have produced a total of nine tons and the value of 27,000, which is good. Because our loan was payback on 22,000 a day. So to produce 27,000, that is good. Nothing too crazy. I'm feeling we should like strip mine kind of thing. So if we just carry on digging into all of this over here, we seem to be doing okay. Now, I don't know how much of this is actually valuable and how much is just, that, just normal dirt. But, get a couple of scoops, pack ourselves up, and I like playing with giant conquered toys really, but I won't lie to you guys, it's kind of, it's grindy, but it's grindy for me in, in one of those ways, you know like when you're a kid, all you want to do is just like dig a big hole and drive practice, that was me, as a countryside kid, so this game so far, pretty much right on my street. Get to dig a big hole and get to play with track. It's not to enjoy about it. I guess that was all rubbish dirt because I delivered nine tons of it and it was all completely and uh, utterly pointless. Not very good. I'll just keep on scooping. 
see where we get to. You see the tree just disappeared? Things are a little bit spooky in this game. Uh, it was originally released on Halloween, so there you go. But um, yeah, I personally don't know enough about game design to work out what's going on there, and it's not my job to do so. It is what it is as far as I'm concerned. Just gonna be careful not to go off the edge, which is really good. Awesome, awesome. Now, it does have a day-night cycle, but at the minute, the day-night cycle is very abrupt. So it goes from being day, like you see it now, to one second later, it'll be pitch black, and that'll be night. So I have turned it off. That is, thankfully, an option that you can do. You can turn it off. And it is, obviously, nice and daylight. Not for everybody, but not too bad at all. There you go. Another nine tons, and absolutely no value whatsoever. As we go through, we should get some more. So, what I have learned in my very, very brief trial of this game, if you rush to try and scoop things up, you won't create much rubble or dirt, if you like. And obviously you need to create the dirt because the dirt is basically what you're trying to sell. Uh, all those little balls, you won't sell anything. So. It's a game that kind of you need to be careful, you need to be steady, you need to take your time with. Hey, there we go. Another nine tons and add three thousand dollars worth. But if you rush this thing, just go plowing in and you don't get too much, you're not gonna get a full bucket, and if you don't get a full bucket, then obviously you're not gonna get too much value back. So it is a little bit crazy crazy but look if I just go slamming in here you see we're not getting as much as we were before we did quite, quite a bit though but there you go look it's not a very full bucket as before it was basically like spilling out so it can be a little bit time consuming but that's mining for you I guess it is what it is right so far I don't mind that I probably will start complaining it's very grindy later on but for now I don't mind that nice peaceful kind of dig a big hole kind of game so there you go that was 5.3 tons so a lot less because before we were hitting 9.1 so let's see what we can do take it steady take it steady take it steady create a load of those little boulders and scoop you hear my computer beep a few times because it's like, yo, I'm pressing too many buttons. Yeah, because you have to bind all the keys. The keys, the original bindings are so strange. So, so strange. Like, they all start, like, binding to the mouse where you have to click the mouse button and then you have to move the mouse in a particular direction and then you're moving your camera at the same time that you're moving your vehicle. And it's, it's a very, very strange set of bindings originally, but it is advised that you go in and you change them. I did plug a controller in. For the most part, things were slightly easier on a controller, right off the bat. But honestly, once I've rebound my keys, I'm a lot happier. So, what we've got here is a strip of something. Not much in that bucket, but it looks like it's valuable stuff. So, you see where the colours change? I'll come out and show you. Obviously, you've got the dirt here, and then you've got the rock that's kind of rock colored and then you got the lighter rock that is a different sort of mineral you can see it better in this rock here look so you see the color changes but the different color is like a different sort of mineral really there are various different machines that you can use to sort all this stuff out at the minute i haven't bought any not quite expensive just wanted to see how we're going to get on just with the front loader for a start see where we get to really what we like to enjoy and then we'll see where we go from there building <laughs> building is very interesting we might have to look at that very steadily i will note that since this game has been released and devs have been making updates as they've been going so it's not completely abandoned but on that note i will say that the devs also had a very similar game out about a year ago two years ago now and i noticed that it's been completely removed from steam altogether and this took its place so anybody that bought that original game has now got this for free instead so it does leave you a little bit concerned are they just going to abandon this one as well 
you'd like to hope not, but I guess you never really know. It's a gamble you always take with indie developers. You hope that their heart's in the right place and they're going to see a game through. Uh, who knows? Game development's tricky. They're going to get some money for making this game. People are going to buy it. In how the bugs going to get fixed? It's tricky to say, really. It really is. But I so far enjoy it. Once you get your buy sorted, and you do get to dig a big hole. See you guys again next time, and hopefully we'll dig a bit more of a big hole.